Hey everybody, my name is Joe. I am also Joe. <laughs> you join us for the episode recap episode of the last five games we have played. Uh, you can see them up here on the left. You got Act Razor, Super Tennis, John Madden Football, True Golf Classics, Wiley Country Club, and RPM Racing, also Radical Psycho Machine Racing. So we're just going to recap our uh, opinions of these games. And first up, Act Razor. So Act Razor was a really interesting game, uh, genre bender. It was between, so it had sections of the game that were a platformer, and then a section of the game that was, was simulation. simulation. Yeah, so like Sim City ish. Uh, I will say I liked the simulation of this game more than I like simulation of other games. Yeah. Not a huge fan of the platformer though. I didn't have a problem with the platformer, <laughs> but I'm, you sure I'm not, did. I'm not too good at like the these kinds of platformers i don't know what to call them like platformers i guess yeah but I mean, platformer the, platformer, is a platformer. the platformer that i play is a uh the platformers that i usually play are more like they don't have enemies per se it's just like obstacles and you have to dodge the obstacles in levels i don't know i mean okay i guess but uh i don't know i think this game, the graphics were pretty good. The sound was pretty decent. The OST was all right. Uh, the most annoying sound was your guy going, hoo, 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 hoo. It's the same, hoo, hoo, every time you swung your sword. Um, but I, I really enjoyed the game. I liked the simulation part. I really like SimCity, though, so that doesn't surprise me. Um, but it was a really neat concept they took all the way through. And the gameplay was solid, I thought. Uh, there were some controls. When you get into simulation mode, you're flying around as your little angel shooting a bow and arrow at monsters on the screen. And boy, if you weren't lined up perfectly, you weren't hitting them. Not at all. But otherwise, I, I really liked the game. You? I liked the game. Yeah, so so, so Act Razor was a uh, double thumb up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we got next. Super Tennis. <laughs> now... Boy, howdy. That is... I messed up and left the thing down there. <laughs> I am terrible. What did you do? Uh, so, anyway, sorry. Super Tennis. What, what do you got? Throw us down. Graphic sound, gameplay. I think, graphically speaking, it wasn't terrible. No, I agree. I thought... I mean, considering what it was, I thought the graphics were okay. Yeah. Looking uh, back at it, yeah. The graphics weren't bad. I love watching little sprites with their tennis rackets. I look at them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the sound was pretty <laughs> much non-existent. No. The, the little watch, watching Bob. It reminds me of that Shaquille O'Neal gif with the cat. <laughs> you know what I'm talking I, about. I do know what you're talking about. Okay, yes. then. Anyway... <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, there was pretty much just the sound of the ball hitting the ground, and that was yeah really it. There wasn't any music. There weren't like even grunts like you have in normal tennis Ugh. games. Ugh. Um, but, the hitbox on your racket was kind of small. Sometimes, it was, sometimes it was massive. It yeah, was, it was kind of weird. Uh, once you got going and like learned kind of where to go, you could really we volleyed it back and forth a number of times, but it was. Pretty difficult to hit that ball. Yeah. Uh, I can see with practice the game being decent. And and I actually did enjoy it. But in the end, we have to give a statement as to whether we think it's worth going worth back going and playing. Uh, and in that case, we both gave it a thumbs down. Yeah. Um, caveated, on my end at least, by the fact that playing with another human being... It was really actually pretty fun. I've noticed that about a lot of these older games that the computers are usually bent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little really OP. Good. Um, but yeah, playing playing with another person makes a world of difference. So definitely. Yeah. Moving on, we get John Madden's football. Now, it should be noted, we are not a sporting family. We don't play sports. We don't watch sports. We don't really enjoy sports. 
There are some sports I enjoy, but football is not one of them. So, graphically speaking, I thought Madden. I mean, look at it. It looks pretty good, actually. It looks like... I mean, it's a bit choppy, like the frames, but... Yeah. I I agree. Uh, It is definitely pretty good. And it's certainly got a boatload of selections and options in the game. It's got Not that I know what any of them do. Yeah, exactly. And that's a, that's a problem, I think. Like, if we were football people, this game probably would have appealed a lot more to us. Uh, but in the end, we are not football people. And so, it's just what it is. Now, the, the graphics, I thought, were okay. Joey says they're choppy. The sound really lacked. Yeah. It was pretty much the same as tennis. Yeah. Again, uh, this one I think had grunts. Yeah, no music. You get a lot of thumping noises as you run into each other. Um, passing the ball seemed ridiculously difficult to do. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the end, you know, it, is it the worst game ever? No, but I enjoyed tennis more than, than John Madden football. I don't know about you. I would agree. Yeah, so again, John Madden football, two thumbs down on us for that one. Continuing our sports week, <laughs> True Golf Classics, Wailele Country Club. Why don't you take us through this one? <laughs> um, well, I guess we'll start with graphics. Uh, I think the graphics are actually pretty good. Yeah. I think um, they... Now, you get a view right here. I like how... I, I always point this way because this is the monitor we're looking at when we're trying to look at the camera up there. Um, the trees immediately look better than... The only thing we have to compare it currently is Howl's Hole in One Golf, which we played a couple weeks ago, where the trees were more like triangles. Yeah, on a basically. Rectangle. Yeah, very like you know, childy, colory book. So, yeah, the graphics. I agree. I think the graphics were all right. What do you got for sound? Uh, this one was literally just when you hit the ball, it makes a noise. That was it. There was nothing else. No music, no wind. I think I think, I think was there bird was bird chirps. Yeah, bird chirping. That was pretty much it. Um, compared to House Hole in One Golf, I think the, the graphics were definitely better. The graphic user interface seemed a little better. Yeah. Now, for you older people like my age, look at the screen right here. And if this isn't... Basically, them trying to copy Windows like 98 or 93 or Windows. It looks like Windows. You know, you got your main screen, and then right there, you got your X in the top. And, you know, it just, it really looks kind of like it was designed for a computer. So, I don't know. Uh, graphics, not bad. Sound, non existent. Gameplay. I liked this actually a lot more than Household in One Golf. Yeah. Uh, I think the gameplay was a lot better, in my opinion. Fair um, enough. I feel like there was more you could do. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about it is if you asked for advice, it gave you like actual, yeah, real life advice. Like <laughs> Spre- remember to square your shoulders. Yeah. On- <laughs> Bend your knees and square your shoulders. Follow through, and you're like. I can't do any of this. It's like breathe out when you swing so that you get a better stroke. It was awesome. It's like, thanks, I'm going to breathe out when I hit B. Yep, pretty great. In the end, though, just like House Hole in One Golf, we did both give this a thumbs up. Yep. Because, unbelievably, of the sports game wars we're playing, golf, for some reason, we seem to be enjoying. I feel like golf is probably not too difficult to do, and so when they do it, it usually ends up being... Okay to okay. play. Yeah. If they would just give it some soundtracks. Uh, our final game, RPM, Radical Psycho Machine mm-hmm. Racing. <laughs> also released November 1st, 1991. These were all kind of November 1st, 2nd, 91. <sighs> I honestly, I didn't hate the game. I did. The only thing that made it, like, Absolutely that prevented did. me from hating it was creating my own tracks and playing them. <clears throat> so here's my problem, and I said this when we did the show. In 1993, Interplay and Synapse released a game called Rock and Roll Racing. Which is significantly better. Which is absolutely 100% based off of this game. Like, it's the same freaking game. But much... Like, like, you know, when we've thumbed down some of our games that we've reviewed, we've said, I see the concept of this game, 
had they developed it more, it would have been great. You this know? is one of those games that and it's like, this is one they of those did games. develop it more, exactly. and it was pretty great. You see this game, the, the graphics were okay. Honestly, the graphics yeah. of rock and roll racing aren't that much better. The sound was... Eh. Eh. I think the, it had music. It had music, but it but was not super memorable repetitive. At all. Yeah. yeah. Um, they just kind of tuned it out. Gameplay was slow. Like, just driving seemed slow for a racing game. Very chunky. Uh, up and down those bumps, you can see. Like, your car. It, it just yeah. felt like it was poor. Your car is slow enough to the point where if you lose any speed going up one of the hills, you. Can't, can't make get it back up. up it. Yeah, you got stuck a couple times. Um, but then you see rock and roll racing in the future where they've developed it. You know, in, in RPM, you can drop oil slicks or landmines behind you. And in rock and roll racing, you can do that as well. But then they also added forward firing guns in the form of rockets and lasers and other crap. As well as other vehicles like hovercrafts and stuff. Right. Um, the soundtrack for rock and roll racing is actually like... 80s and music. like late 80s early 90s rock music um so you know when in a vacuum this game's not great in a total view of what it becomes later the game's still not great but the later game is amazing <laughs> so um yeah rock and roll racing not great we both gave this one a thumbs down so, or geez, I said rock and roll racing because that's what's in my head now. RPM racing, thumbs down. Uh, not recommended by us. So, that is our five game recap review, guys. Thanks for joining us as we did that. Uh, as we we're currently, as we're putting this up on Sunday, Monday ish, uh, we're getting into our second, our next group of games. We've already done uh, Bill and Beer's Combat Basketball. And we're getting ready to do something else. I don't, I'm not sure what. but uh, So thanks for joining us, guys. Have a good one.